It's time for the High Five Challenge TV game show, testing the wits of young and old alike, Woo! truly spanning the generations. And now, here's your host of High Five, Wayne Palagowski. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Jeremiah, and welcome again, everybody, to a brand new version of the High Five Challenge. I'm your host, Wayne Falagowski. Well, when I say a brand new version, we're now on location here on High Five. We're going out in the field. Today, we're at the Portland Night Market, which is near City Liquidators on the east side of the Willamette River in downtown Portland. We have three teams ready to compete today, the red, the white, and the blue team, and you can't get any more patriotic than that. Each team consists of four players, and they, they have different ages, 11-year-old, maybe a 30-year-old, maybe even an 80-year-old, or even a 90-year-old. But they're all spanning generations, and that's why we're doing this show. Now, before we get started, Jeremiah, come on up and let's meet the first team, the red team. Thanks, Wayne. All right, red team, how you feeling? Good. They got a little energy. Okay, give me your first name. Uh, Oscar. We got Oscar. Sue. Sue. Aaron. Aaron. They call me Lulu Boo. Lulu Boo. <laughs> well, Lulu, as the team captain, you've got a lot of responsibility. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I am a dental student currently at the OHSU, so just across the river, um, and just working it out, uh, doing my own business on the side. <laughs> All right, entrepreneur and a student. Awesome. Good for you, Lulu. And Eric, give us a fun fact about you. Uh, into politics, into computers, big computer nerd, math nerd, stuff like that. So. Oh, I hope we get some tech questions, some computer yeah. questions for you, Aaron. And how about a fun fact about you? I am obsessed with Portland, native Portlander, and um, Golden Retrievers. Oh. Loves Portland and Golden Retrievers. All right. And Oscar, what about you? Um, recent graduate, work at Health Plans in Oregon, and trying to save up for a bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have goals. Well, Wayne, there's the red team for our first team today. There you All go. All right, thank you. Let's hear an applause for the red team. <laughs> and again, we have a brand new version of the High Five Challenge. That means we also have some brand new rules. So before we get started and start asking some questions, I have a question. How does the game play now? Well, it's still that awesome quiz show, but today the rules are quite simple. Each team will attempt to answer 15 questions as quickly as possible as they compete against the clock. The quicker they respond, the better off they are because the lowest score wins. Players may confer with each other and if they're unable to come up with the right answer within 10 seconds, they can go for their lifelines, which include help from the audience, they can use their mobile device, or do whatever it takes to beat the clock. If they're unable to come up with the right answer within 30 seconds, we go on to the next question. Back to you, Wayne. Thank you, Jeremiah. Okay, team, are you ready to go? Now remember, are you ready? the are quicker ready? you can <laughs> answer the questions, the more points you'll get for your team. We got some great prizes, so are you ready? Ready. Okay. Ready. I think they are ready. All right. Question number one. If you were living in the Northwest on May 18th, 1980, you more than likely can recall this mind-boggling event. Get together. 1980. Go. It's the explosion of Mount St. Helens. Okay. Okay. Lulu. Explosion of the Mount St. Helens. You got it. Yes. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Boy, do I remember that. I was a reporter at Channel 6 at that oh. time. We got to fly for CBS News that day. <laughs> All right, question number two. Voice actor Tom Kenny has made a bundle of money for being the voice of this underseas character. Underseas Tom okay. Kenny? Tom Kenny. Underseas. Time is, you have 10 seconds to come up with it. All right. We, I, we have to do 10 seconds. All right. I think we're just about to. Okay. Now you go to your lifelines. Call anybody Tom in the Kenny. audience. Anybody out Let's there just know? Do Google. Give it to Tom them. Go. Tom Kenny. The question was this Tom actor, Tom Kenny. Kenny, has made a bundle of money for being the voice of this underseas character. <gasps> SpongeBob. SpongeBob is correct. All right. <laughs> you barely you got you Thanks, used Google. up a little pine, but that's all right. <laughs> all right. Take your time. All right, question, take your time, but hurry up. Okay. All right, number, one, question go. number three. We'd all love to own one, but during his lifetime, Vincent van Gogh sold only one of his paintings, this one. Vincent van Gogh painting, history. 
Picasso. That is incorrect. Okay. Oh, oh. Now, you go to your lifelines. You have another few seconds and you can try first to get Van Gogh, that. First Van Gogh. The question sure. was, we all love to own one, but during first his lifetime, Van Vincent Van Gogh sold only one of his paintings. This one. Name that painting. Service, Time service. is slipping by. Oh, the Red Vineyard. The Red Vineyard at Aries is correct. Very good. <laughs> All right. Aren't smartphones smart? Bye bye. <laughs> All right. Here we go with another question. Hey there, Delilah, which reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 in 2007, was recorded by. Play White Tees. Playboy, Play White Tees is correct. Boy, <laughs> two seconds probably. <laughs> Very good. Yes. You didn't even have to confer. <laughs> All right. Another question. This is the Japanese word that means empty orchestra. Uh, no. Oh, sorry, I'm not that type of Asian. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can we use lifelines? Okay, now you can go to your lifelines. Do whatever you want. Japanese Listen to the audience. empty orchestra. Japanese word that means empty orchestra. Got it. Kara. That is incorrect as well. Oh. It is karaoke. Oh, oh, the shark bait. <laughs> okay, here we go. If you're a Star Wars fan, you certainly can make name the first Star Wars film in which the Ewoks first appeared. Well, can Ewoks? you go? Ewoks. What? what? Star Wars? What? Which which Star Wars Star film was that? Ewok. Ewok is a. What is Ewok? Ten seconds left. Go to your lifeline. Okay, okay. What if is you're a Star Ewok? Wars film? Does anybody know Star Wars? Ewoks. First Ewoks. Star Wars? Star Wars fan. Him? Ewok, first movie that had Ewok in it for Star Wars. Quickly. Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi, yes, yes, okay. yes, thank you. Okay, 20 seconds, you saved three seconds. Okay. You got it? Yeah, you got it. Awesome, okay, here we go again. Audience. Following a distinguished career as an amateur, Tiger Woods turned professional in this year. What year did Tiger Woods turned professional. What? Time is up. Next. 10 seconds. Is ten. Now go to your lifelines. Anybody Tiger out there? Woods? You think you know it? Tiger Woods? Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. Hurry. Time Tiger is slipping. Woods became famous. Look at those fingers go on those phones. Okay. 1997? 1992. Okay. 1992. That's incorrect. 1996. Ah! 1996. Ah! I thought you said 1996. Oh, no, I was... You said 92. Oh, he said okay. 92. All right. All right, here we go with another question. Do the math. If two players are red carded in soccer, there would be this many players on the field minus the two goalies. Okay, two red carded. Okay, 10 so seconds. How many... Do the math. Minus if two four. players red carded Eleven in soccer, four, seven. there would be Got this it. many... Wait, seven. That is incorrect. Okay, now go to your lifelines. Seven minus the, two. the question is, the do the math. Cards. If two players are red carded in soccer, How many people there would be this many oil. players on the field minus the two goalies. Players. Some on soccer on players. Soccer field. Players on a soccer field. How many players? Are, there, there's 11 players okay, on a soccer field. Okay, time is up. Uh, I'm sorry. It is 18 because what? there's 11 players on each team. Oh my God! A red card, two of them, two leave, and then two goalies oh. means 18. Okay. All right. That was a trick question. That wasn't trick. That it was, was a, a trick a math question. question. All right, here we go. In 2015, this is current events. This man was the top of Forbes list of the richest people in the world. Top Forbes list, Mark Zuckerberg. That is incorrect. Uh, okay, go to your lifelines. Uh, 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 Bill Gates. Richest man in the world. Warren Buffett. 2015, according to Forbes. Man, Forbes. Bill Gates? We got to hear an answer from the captain. We said Bill Gates. Bill Gates is correct. Oh, Very good. Yeah, Woo! Thanks, audience. All right, here we go with another one. This tasty treat, the fortune cookie, was invented not in China, but in this state. Impossible. <laughs> Ten seconds. Talk it over. Fortune cookie, not in China. Was invented not in China, but in this state. I want to say San Francisco. The state. State, right. state. We need the state. Okay. I, I go They're going to their lifelines. But Time a is state up. could be in a, country, a different Are country, you? too. California? California's correct. Yes, oh, very good. Dang, good one. Okay, we're going to go back a little bit now. There was John, Paul, George, and Ringo, the Beatles. 
However, initially, this musician was often called the fifth Beatle. Yes, Who was John the fifth Beatle? Stop the clock. Yes. Okay, you have 10 seconds. Discuss it. Fifth Beatle? Fifth All right. Beetle. Go to your lifeline. Okay, fifth Beatle. Go to your lifeline. Fifth Beatle? The Anybody? fifth Beatle's name. The fifth Beatle? John, George John Martin. Paul George. George Martin. That's incorrect. It is, that is also incorrect. You only oh, get one together. It is Pete Best. Oh. All right. So you lost 30 points on it. Oh, All right, here we go with another question. 30. Listen up. Actor Ryan Reynolds played the fictional anti-hero in this 2015 action thriller. Deadpool. Deadpool. Deadpool is correct. Very good. Good, one. good job. Wow. What was that? Two seconds, Mark Sanchez? One second. Wow. We got Mark Sanchez here acting as the producer and timer. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> okay, here we go. Although they are now re required, this player was the last player in the National Hockey League to play without a helmet. That's a tough one. Wow. Talk it over. Last Although they are now required, the last person to wear not wear a helmet in the National Hockey League was this player. Lifeline? That life is incorrect. Okay. Can we use the lifeline? Go, go to your lifeline. Okay. Okay. Last player to use. We're going to the lifeline during the soccer time player. That the train's passing by, so that to works out. To use good. helmet. Okay, we're near a warehouse. Obviously, you can hear the train. Is it Wayne Rooney? Okay. Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky. Yeah. Wayne. Hi. That is incorrect. Not Gre Wayne Gretzky. It is Craig McTavish. Whoever heard of him? I know. I would have. I don't. That was a tough one. Okay, here we go. One more. Kopi Luwak is a very expensive type of this. Kopi Luwak? Is that leather? Kopi Luwak is a very expensive type of this. Spell that. K-O-P-I-L-U-W-A-K. Is that leather? Cologne? Okay, go to your lifelines. Kopi Luwak. Kopi Luwak. Quickly. Luwak, Luwak, come on, come on. Um, coffee. coffee. Coffee is correct. Yeah! Very good. All right, we have one more question. Nice. One more question before okay, we last one. take a break. Last one. In the world of food, if you're Scottish, this is your national dish. A Scottish national dish? Ten seconds. Danish? Danish eggs? Oh, it's um, an omelet? No, it's, uh, it's, the, it's the Scottish dish. Brulee? Okay. Go to your lifeline. Okay. No. Scottish dish. National The national eggs. dish of Scotland okay. is what? Scotland. <laughs> Scotland national dish. Listen to the audience here. Okay. Haggis. Haggis, Haggis is correct. Yes. Very good. All right. That's 15 questions. Woo. We're going to add up your score right after this. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Join us right when we come back. Thanks. Stick around. There's more to come with the high five challenge. Okay.